If you are an entrepreneur, I know that you are taking risks that do not let you sleep at night. In this video, I will show you how can you use artificial intelligence to transform any risk into an opportunity. Hi, I'm Calvin Fernandez, co-founder and CEO of Neo AI, and welcome to another AI shot. In this video, I will talk to you about risks. So what is a risk? A risk is basically the probability of being worse in the future than you are right now. For example, let's talk about investment. Let's say you invest a certain amount of money. What is the likelihood of, of ending up with less money than you start with, right? Or for example, let's say you are going for college. So what is the probability of that, that I will be in a worse situation than I am right now after investing in this amount of money on this time? Or let's say you are dating. So risk in dating is basically what is the probability that I will end up sad or I will end up in a bad situation with this other person. So this is risk and this is what doesn't let us uh, sleep at night. So basically risk has two components, right? So the first component is what is the probability of that thing happening? So how likely is that risk to materialize? And the other one is how much will I lose if that happens? Okay. And the combination is of these two is what can make a risk, something that you won't care about to something that will, you know, make you anxious. Okay. So that will trigger your anxiety. This brings us to this tool that we designed as part of our daylight night methodology that I call the traffic light of risk management. Okay, it's basically this matrix here where we have on one side, on one axis, we have the probability of an event happening and in the other one, the loss if that event happens. And this helps us understand where a company are and what are the most critical points to tackle. Okay, so in this scenario, basically we will start with these cases, for example low probability low loss right so these are the things that most likely won't happen and even if they do you know it won't affect you that much it won't loss that much so in if you if you have any risk that you're taking that is in this squadron just ignore it most likely it won't affect you that much things start to become interesting here for example events with low probability of happening but if they do happen it is the end of the world okay so you need to take care of these events because they can take you out of business okay Then we have the other side of it, which is events with high probability of happening, but every time they happen, do not lose that you don't lose that much. And although these are not the end of the world, they can hurt you bad if they happen a lot because they can accumulate their losses. Okay, so these are other. This is the other point that you can that you can you should look at. And for sure, the most critical the most critical quadrant on this matrix is the high probability high loss okay so these are the risks that if you have any risk on here for sure you will need to pay some attention to it and you will try to mitigate that risk okay so take care of this and let's start with how can we use ai basically to solve to solve this part basically you can you can fight any risk in two ways one way is using prevention so what is prevention it's basically taking a risk from any of these sides to the left side so basically taking a risk with high probability and transforming it into a low probability risk and you can do this with a prevention plan okay what is the alternative you have a high loss how can i meet it how can i reduce this loss with a recovery plan so recovery basically recovery will help you get into the as e situation to the before the race happen with minimum cost with minimum losses okay combining these two will move any risk you are taking from any of these quadrants to either here if you do prevention or to here if you apply the two okay depending on where you are maybe you only need one of the two okay so let's give you some examples um about risk and how can AI solve you, help you solve you. By the way, if you like this video and this content, please like this video, share it with your network, subscribe to our channel. Okay. So let's start with, a, for example, with a news case that for sure you are aware of, which is credit scoring. Okay. So credit scoring is basically, you know, when, when you are a bank and you need to either approve or not a certain loan, right? And basically, I assume that here not necessarily is a high risk, high probability, depending on how is your current situation in your bank. But let's let's try to assume for each one of these examples that you are in a high probability, high loss. So we, so we figure out how can we devise, how can we 
develop AI use cases that, that help you on each scenario. So let's start with prevention, okay? So prevention is take, basically taking these risks from here and lowering the probability of happening, okay? So in this case, for example, in credit scoring, you can do prevention by having, by understanding, by predicting what is the probability of default for a new customer, okay? So you will have an AI that will tell you, you know, this customer together with this proposal for a long, most likely will default, okay? With this current situation. So at this point, before even approving that loan, you can say no, and you can remove those cases out of your portfolio, okay? So this is prevention. What about recovery? In this case, you already approved the loan, okay? And the customer already got the money. Now the customer is not paying, is already in default, or he's about to get into, he's about to get in default, and you want to recover as much money as possible. So you want to minimize the losses. In this case, AI can help you by building personalized plans okay so personalized payment plan so what is the the interest rate adjustment that i can do to this customer so i can make him pay or for example can i ask him for another asset what is the best asset that i can ask him in return for for this situation until they regularize a situation that potentially is very liquid so i will i will make some profit out of it in the future so again, prevention, not taking these customers, so using the AI to tell you which are the customers you want to avoid. Recovery, once you have those customers, what is the best course of action to, to go to, to minimize my losses, okay? Let's go with another, with another case, okay? Now, for example, let's say that you are a manufacturing company and you have a certain line of production, manufacturing, okay? And and of course, if you are in manufacturing and you are a good, a good, and you have a good factory, most likely you have you don't have a high probability high loss. Most likely you have a you have a low probability high loss. Okay, most likely. But let's say you are here. So in manufacturing, how can you reduce probability of any risk by using the AI as a quality assurance? Okay, what is AI as a quality assurance? It's basically taking an AI that will you know monitor a hundred percent of your production and detect an error as soon as happened. So you can stop production, you can detect the error, you can correct the error, and you can move on. Most likely now you are only sampling one of one out of 10,000 items that you produce, okay? And you manually inspect them. And basically here the risk is what happens with the other 9,099, right? So AI can help you by having 100% monitoring, 100% quality assurance, detecting the, the errors as soon as they happen. So you mitigate the probability of, you know, wasting all of this. Uh, material okay now about losses okay so let's talk about losses let's say that you already put this product in the market the product is defective okay how can you use ai to mitigate the losses in this case you can use it by helping the ai to trace the error understand what is the, the root cause of that problem and basically for example taking out the, the right batch from the market or for example by correcting the, the issue the product here at, at your plant okay so again prevention and recovery now let's go with for example another industry healthcare okay i think healthcare is an industry that everybody relates with um so in healthcare what is prevention basically is detecting a disease early on so early detection it's basically similar to the quality assurance case right so it's early detection of, of a problem De detection Okay, for example, detecting the disease before it becomes a severe case, okay? Um, here you can use AI, you know, to detect risk factors, to detect a, a lesion, to detect a lot of things from a patient. What about recovery? The patient already has cancer, a very severe case of cancer. So AI can help you by designing a personalized treatment plan. So by choosing the best treatment that will minimize the probability of, of dying, or the probability of, of compromising the life, the quality of life of this patient, okay? So, by the way, in, in, the, in the description, you will have a link with a PDF with five additional examples in other industries. If you are interested, just click in the link below and get your PDF. But in the meantime, let's just try to figure out here the patterns that you have for prevention and for recovery. So in general, prevention is based on, on building AI that will detect the event early on, even before the event happens, forecasting that the event may happen in the future. That is prevention, and AI, that's the way AI solves prevention from any risk. The other one is recovery, and recovery, the general pattern, is building AI models, AI solutions, 
that will create a personalized plan so you can get as efficiently as possible to the AC situation, to the regular situation. These are the two scenarios. Now you know how can you solve them. Tell me in the comments what are your risks you are facing and I will help you understand how can AI solve those risks or mitigate those risks. Remember, like, subscribe and activate the notifications and get your PDF in the link on the description. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.